What's up guys, it's Justin here, and today I've got my experience of the Nintendo Classic. Nintendo had releases just in time for the holiday season in limited quantities, and I had actually gotten up at 6am on Friday to go to 4 different places and had no luck picking one up on day 1. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a video out the first day like I wanted to for you guys, but luckily I was able to get a few units on Best Buy's site the day before. So to make up for being so late with the video, I decided to give one away to you guys, so go ahead and check the link in the description section below to enter, and also give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see some more giveaways. So Nintendo's intention with the classic is to bring a throwback for those who remember the original Nintendo release in the 1980s. I was personally bored in the late 90s, so this wasn't really part of my childhood at all, but I know a lot of people who remember playing this growing up, so please excuse the fact that I'm terrible at playing the games on this console later in this video. It comes pre-installed with 30 games that have been chosen by Nintendo that are considered the classics. The retail price for the NES Classic was $60 in the US and $80 in Canada, but like I mentioned it was in limited quantities and the hype seemed to be pretty real so you're going to have to pay some resale prices if you want to get one as soon as possible. The overall design is intended to replicate the original system, but it is significantly smaller coming in at just about the same size as the cartridge that you would have found on the Nintendo in 1985. Of course it does have a little bit of the 21st century integrated into it with an HDMI out port and also the DC in which is a micro USB port and all of the cables have been supplied. What's really crazy though is just how much they've been able to slim down the size and compared to the original Nintendo system, when you compare the size of the NES Classic to the PlayStation 4 Slim, it is pretty hysterical but you also have to consider in 20 years we're going to be looking at a console the size of the NES Classic with the same power of the PlayStation 4 Slim and we'll probably be laughing at the size of our consoles today and just what they were able to offer, but that really just goes to show how fast technology is advancing as a whole. The controller is pretty much the same as the original one with a two button layout and a directional pad on the left. You can also purchase spare controllers for $10 but they're pretty hard to come by as they only made one for every seven consoles. You can also use the Wii Classic remote but there are also some wireless third party options coming up. One of the funniest things though is that the remote that comes with the NES Classic only has a 2.5 foot cable meaning you pretty much have to sit right in front of your TV and for those who have a TV that's like 50 or 55 inches that is really damn close. But I went ahead and booted up this console and the first thing I noticed is that it has a nice throwback feel to it, but being someone who was born in the late 90s and wasn't ever really into gaming aside from some sports games, I didn't recognize a lot of these games but there were a few that stuck out to me. Some of the games you're going to find are Super Mario Bros, Tecmo Bowl, Punch-Out, Pac-Man, Castlevania, Donkey Kong, and much more. Before we start gaming though, you're probably going to be using this NES Classic on an HD monitor or a TV. You're given the option to pick between the CRT mode, a 4-3 mode, and the Pixel Perfect, with the CRT giving you those fuzzy looks that are characteristics of TVs in the 80s. The Pixel Perfect mode is reminiscent of a Square TV, and the 4-3 is probably going to be the one you're using most with an HD TV or display but I took it to Twitter to ask you guys what you would like to see me demonstrate in this gameplay. So without further ado, sit back and relax, check out this gameplay of some of the classics that you guys recommended to me, and watch someone play some of these games for their very first time, which will be really funny.
But that pretty much wraps it up for my experience of the Nintendo Classic, and I think that at its price point of $60, if you're able to get it at that retail price, it will make an incredible Christmas gift, not only for young kids, but also gaming lovers out there. As in the end, it is pretty much an official Nintendo emulator that is packaged in a replica body that gives it an authentic look. Other than that, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel if you would like to see some more tech videos in general. But thanks for watching and bearing with me for my terrible gameplay skills, and I'll see you all in the next video.